Here she is, guys. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying she, as if she's, as if the filing cabinet is a she, but, um, this is my comic book filing cabinet, and my three long boxes next to it of a lot of the stuff that doesn't fit in filing cabinet, and a pair of socks for some reason, but, um, yeah, actually, on top of the filing cabinet is some really cool stuff in itself, because on top of the filing cabinet, I have a full set of the, um, yeah, let me move that over. A full set of the Green Lantern promotion rings, as well as two flash rings. This is my, uh, Bosky necklace from Zelda. And my actual Green Lantern ring that I wear every once in a while. I mean, I'm sure if you've seen in other videos, I do have a um, Green Lantern tattoo on my arm. And my Nick Fury eye patch. Uh, what else is up here? Oh, whoops. I like how I said complete collection, but the uh, Red Lantern ring was hiding. And then, of course, you see uh, right above it is uh, it's a guy that's going to show you a magic trick. <laughs> but yeah, this is my fantastic Heath Ledger Joker um which I had to buy when I saw it. I was just like, instant purchase. And then I even have um, my awesome class ring, as well as the uh, Skeleton Warrior ring, which, I'll, which I won't tell you guys too much about because that's another uh, Hunter Chronicles inspired character. But um, yeah, as I was saying, I had to buy that the second I, saw, the second I saw that. It took forever to, to completely pay it off, but because um, it was like 150 something. But um. It's such a cool statue that I couldn't resist buying it. I mean, look, look at the detail. Look at that. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? And as you can see, something cool I've been doing with, um, with the filing cabinet is whenever I get stickers, like Binding of Isaac and Super Meat Boy stickers, as well as a whole bunch of stuff from Loot Crate, I have, um, Shield Magnets, uh, Rocket Jump, um, Dead Space, Aqua Teen, <laughs> I have a whole bunch of stickers, but, um, Hackslash, because Tim Seeley gave me a uh, very cool Hackslash sticker that I'm sure other people have too, uh, got some stickers via Claudio Sanchez, Kill Audio, um, Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption on Dead Nightmare, uh, whole bunch of cool stuff, but, um, yeah, I like to, I like to, uh, put a whole bunch of cool stuff on the filing cabinet. I won't show you too much of what's in the four long boxes because that would take you forever to sh I mean, that would take me forever to show you guys, but, um, I have, like, Invincible Iron Man right here with, like, the Rescue one-shot because I love that run. Brubaker's Daredevil run is right underneath it. Um, let me should just give you guys an overall idea. I won't be able, this is why I won't be able to open the last, the fifth, uh, the fifth part of the filing cabinet because there's a whole bunch of like old school wizard and like other comics down there um but yeah so on the top shelf is um a whole bunch of marvel stuff uh this is my this hold on let me get a good angle sorry that i turned the camera kind of weird uh this is my um hulk section uh, which I have everything from World War Hulk to, uh, Incredible Hercules. The full Incredible Hercules run, thank you, because I loved Incredible Herc. Um, what else do I have on that shelf? Uh, actually, yeah, that's all that shelf is. Uh, I have a whole bunch of Avengers stuff on this first shelf. The Doctor Strange mini that, uh, Wade did a couple years ago. Captain America... Uh, stuff, Dark Avengers, Avengers of the Initiative, um, Mighty Avengers, oh, I gotta go back to the shelves in a minute, I gotta show you guys something really cool, but, um, Young Avengers, let's see, what else do I have, I forget, New Avengers, Spider-Woman, kept more Captain America, um, whole bunch of miniseries on this, uh, shelf, like Black Widow, uh, Agents of Atlas, whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Marvel Zombies is all the way in the back. Yeah, because so first shelf has a whole bunch of Avengers stuff. 
Third shelf is mostly comprised of DC. Second shelf is X-Men and some Fantastic Four. Here, I can show you. Um, and Micronauts. Uh, yes, Bill, I kept the Micronauts comments, yeah, comics nice and safe because you gave them to me and they are beyond awesome. Uh, Marvel Team Up. Um, whole bunch of Superman, Justice, Blue Beetle, uh, the new, I got a whole bunch of the issue, a whole bunch of the first issues of the new 52 because I kind of gave up after that because it's just not my DC universe. Um, as well as, like I said, I've had, I have everything on that shelf from like, these two shelves, right here and right here, are comprised of um, DC and independent stuff, so like... I have Madman Atomic Comics down here, um, Batman, Batgirl, uh, Avenger, why do I have Avenger stuff on the bottom here? Um, Civil War is back here for some reason, uh, yeah, this is all Civil, Civil War, not the whole shelf. My, my filing system is a little confusing at moments, but, and I have no idea how many comics I have at this point, to be honest with you, but, um, some of my Green Lantern stuff and some of my, um, some of my Green Lantern stuff and some of, like, Green Lantern 52, um, Green Lantern 52, uh, some of my Avengers stuff and Secret Invasion is all missing from this shelf. And this will be the final segment I show you guys because, uh, this next segment will be the final segment just to uh, show you exactly where those are. I like the little, I forgot I did that. I like the little t poor tiny Isaac by himself on the end. But yeah, this is one, two, three, four, five, five full shelves for the most part completely covered in everything from Spider-Man to X-Men to Cable to the Avengers. There's, to Batgirl to Red Robin to Batman, whole bunch of Morrison, whole bunch of all, all red, so much different stuff. I have, um... Little Bible by Tim Seeley, because I love that book. Uh, one of these days I'll have to do a review for that book, because I love it. I have the uh, trade somewhere over there, too. But, um, yeah, like I said, this one last segment just to show you what I've done with some of the comics in my collection that I'm sure some of you will, uh, will find infinitely cool, and I've taken pictures of this before, but never showed it at length. So I will see you guys in the last segment, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm not sure how long this is running, but, yeah, see you guys in a minute. I return, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I actually had to remove some stuff from the shelf before I can fully show you what I was going to show you. And you notice how excited I got when I told you guys I was going to show you this. There's there's reasons for such things. Love this book because I mean something I didn't talk about is obviously I'm a huge fan of the um, McFoley biographies, but uh. I was such a wrestling kid during the Attitude Era that I have, like, stuff like this, which is a fantastic book, as well as a whole bunch of, um, the autobiographies lying down there. Golden Age sitting right here. Uh, let's see. Let me get rid of all this. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you. I don't know where I put it. forgot to show you guys, um, because I talked about Repo the Genetic Opera a little bit. I have, um... All the fantastically cool comics from uh, from Terrence Zudinich, uh, who is the director. Yep, I have Hex slash uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it's got the Disposable Assassin, Dead at 17. I have all that stuff. Uh, Bone, Walking Dead. I have all that stuff sitting right here. It's like little tiny omnibuses. But um, yeah, as I was saying, if I can get everything out of here... <laughs> And hopefully the phone isn't being picked up right now, but, um... Oh my god. I hate the... I hate our stupid answering machine thing. Uh, give me a second, guys. Sorry. Guess I should have prefaced this by, like, be... By pulling all this out first. Ugh. Get rid of Scott Pilgrim, put it down there. Uh, Red Red Rocket 7, signed by All Red himself, because All Red is awesome. I uh, love that book so much. This, okay, so. What are these encyclopedia type things? Uh, 
you're asking. Well, interesting story that. These are the first two, um, first two collections of uh, Bendis' um, New Avengers. And basically, as I can show you real fast, um, it's pretty much, um, it's pretty much, this is one through, um, I forgot, I forgot what this is. This is the new Avenger, uh, this is the Avengers finale up till, um, new Avengers, uh, what number? I gotta look. Because this is volume one. And it's, it's basically library binding, I think is the proper term for it. This is up to 20. This is up to new Avengers 20. Um, and then volume two is 21 till, 21 right up until Secret Invasion. Because... This includes the Civil War stuff as well. As, oh, this is the one I had signed by uh, by Bendis. And who else signed this one? I can't even think. Um, but yeah, this is... Basically, I had a whole bunch of stuff bound. As you can see. And I'm going to do more. I think the next stuff I'm actually doing is... Um, is going to be... Uh, it's going to be all my Army of Darkness stuff. Because that book is so cool. Um, come on. Yeah. This is my omnibus. This is my secret invasion omnibus. One of a kind. Has everything. Except for... The only thing this doesn't have is the Thunderbolts arc, actually. I think the uh, Thunderbolts arc and the uh, Fantastic Four arc. Because I don't know why I didn't put them in here. But it has everything else. And this one was signed by uh, Christos Gage and, um, uh, who else did I have signed this? I can't think. <laughs> I think Bendis might have signed this one, too. I know he signed Volume 2, but, um, this is, this is all my Green Lantern, um, up to, uh, Sinestro Core War. That's its third volume. This is up to, uh, Sinestro Core War, which is... So good, um, and this is this is actually all in the right, except for one issue, which was the uh, Ion uh, one shot that Ron Mars did. I accidentally put that in the uh, wrong place in the book, so it spoils some minor things that happen to Kyle. But uh, and this is all of the New Fifty Two. I mean, not all of the New Fifty Two. This is all Fifty Two. Um, the the fantastic year-long miniseries by uh, by DC, but I thought that would be a great way to end the end the collection video is by showing you guys some of the uh, stuff that I've had bound. And um, like I said, I'm definitely doing some more binding. It's just a matter of um, figuring out what company to go through. So to end this, I'm actually going to do a quick little uh, recording on. Um, on the laptop and put everything together so thanks as always for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed getting uh, quick glimpses into some of my collection and hopefully i didn't ramble too much so thanks as always for watching guys i'll see you in the next one